chilly summer festival season, but with the sun and fun comes some security concerns. Just this past weekend, Fitchburg Day shut down early because of multiple disturbances. Our Keely Arthur met with Brockfest organizers ahead of the big Madison event to see how they're handling security. This will be our 35th year of Bratfest. Growing in that more than three decades span from a modest cookout in front of Tom Metcalf's grocery store to a four day event <laughs> supporting 120 different charities. We're expecting to have somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 180,000 people, you know, all come on to Willow Island this weekend. That's a very good thing. We've raised $1.75 million, you know, out of uh, a bratwurst. And also problematic, never more evident than last year. Basically, there was a group of people that got into a physical altercation uh, in the carnival area of Bratfest grounds. As we grow, we just have to change along with that. So Tim Metcalf is stepping up security. We have uh, additional options. Officers. We've fenced in our carnival area. Uh, we're the only festival that I think uh, wands for metal uh, uh, in the carnival. The hours at the carnival are also changing from 9.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And you'll see almost as many code of conduct signs listing the basics like no vulgar language as there are broad signs. Plus a private security team and four additional officers from the Dane County Sheriff's Department which patrols the event. We work with them throughout the year to make sure that th that our plan is in place. Ensuring that this weekend there'll be nothing but food and fun to focus on. It does a lot of great things for the community and we're excited to put it on. Now, even though the carnival hours have changed, the festival hours will remain open until 10 p.m., food until 9 p.m., and all the festivities will come to a close at 6 at night on Monday. Keely Arthur in studio tonight. Keely, thank you.